Hi, my name is Aaron Linsdow. I'm a polar explorer and professional traveler. Today I'm reviewing the Black Diamond Storm headlamp. Is this possibly one of the best hardcore adventure outdoor headlamps on the market? Let's find out. Is the Black Diamond Storm headlamp potentially one of the best hardcore adventure headlamps on the market? Well, I'm going to do this little review and tell you all about my experiences with the headlamp, where I've used it, and why you might like it. But before I do that, if you wouldn't mind hitting the subscribe button real quick, that makes it easier for me to bring this channel to you. The more subscribers I have, the more innovative and interactive content I can provide to you. You don't get hammered with any spam or anything. Just makes it easier with me with on YouTube with those numbers. So I thank you very much for hitting the subscribe button. So what about this Black Diamond Storm headlamp? Just the name sounds sexy, Storm. There's the Revolt headlamp, like not revolting. That's Black Diamond's rechargeable headlamp. There's the non-rechargeable headlamp that they have. And they have a bunch of different heavier versions and light versions, but the Storm is my favorite hardcore headlamp when I'm going some crazy places. So why do I say that? Let me adjust the camera just a little bit. No, I don't want my head that big. Perfect. Good. So the Black Diamond Storm headlamp, obviously it looks much bigger than their standard headlamp by quite a bit. This is a Storm. This is a standard headlamp. This is the Revolt Rechargeable. This is the Storm. You can see it's somewhat larger. But why do I say the Storm headlamp is my favorite hardcore headlamp? Well, there are a couple reasons. One, the IP67 case. Now, you might say, IP67, I'm just about to hit click. Whoa, hang on. So what IP67 means is that this case can be submerged into one meter or one yard of water for 30 minutes and not experience any leaks. Versus the IP, I think it's the IPX8 case of the Revolt headlamp, which can handle splashes. And if you get submerged, there will be some water leakage into this thing, but you can dry it off. The Storm headlamp, however, can withstand submersion continuously theoretically without any leaks. So that's a huge factor. Also, this storm headlamp, and I'll show you this latch here. This latch is pretty hardcore. Also uses four AAA batteries instead of the, I'll open it here, the three, let me make sure I crack this open the three batteries that the Revolt and the standard headlamps do. So already the Storm headlamp not only has a little bit more power, but it can last a lot longer and it has this really cool seal case. Now, the original Storm headlamp that I bought from Black Diamond a long time ago had this latch and you really had to get in there and pry it and it was really painful. Since then, Black Diamond's figured out a pretty slick way to do that. So I'm going to open it up. There's a little thumb dealie right here. Let me turn the light so you can see what you're doing there. There we go. And you pop this open. Good. And then you come to the side, push this forward, and you got to jiggle a little bit. This comes off. And voila, it's very easy to get into the storm headlamp. So even though it actually has a better seal on it, closes and can withstand submersion, it is actually much easier to open than all the other headlamp designs where they have a standard latch where you open it and invariably the battery springs out. Now that's not to say the Revolt headlamp is bad. I love my Revolt headlamp. Just used it for four days in the Wind River mountain range in Wyoming and the rechargeable USB thing is totally cool. But the Storm headlamp doesn't offer that rechargeability, but this ability to lock down the headlamp and keep the water out is huge. Now, how much does this headlamp weigh? Let me get my 
handy dandy scale here going and I'll show you in a minute. I mean, it, it's definitely heavier because it's much larger, but using these lithium batteries by Energizer is huge. If you want the headlamp to last longer and work down to minus 40 degrees, that's like Antarctica. I mean, I've been to the Arctic, I've been to the Antarctic, and let me tell you, it's pretty cold down there. So this headlamp clocks in at a um, scant 3.4 ounces for what you get. Now I just did a review of the Storm headlamp and I'll put cross links to both so you can check out both. But this headlamp for the power that you get is really, really incredible. Now you can see the headlamp adjuster here depending on if you have a really big head or a much smaller head or maybe you're a child. I mean, this isn't gonna fit on me here, so I'll stretch this out till it fits. So it's a very nice system to where you can just put this on your head, snug it up, and away you go. Now, how does the operation work on this? The button, there is a single button on top of the headlamp. You tap it once and it turns on. You tap it again and it turns off. You'll notice there are a couple of different LEDs up here. There's the main beam LED, there's the broadcast LED, and then there's the red LED. Now one of the things about modern headlamp is, yes, there are so many modes, it's like you're having to dial in Morse code to get them to work. That's just kind of the way it works. So let me demonstrate this here. Off, so on, off. Click, click get you the broadcast LED, and this is actually the LED I use most of the time, especially in camp. I, I very rarely need the high beam LED, and this thing is intense. So if I turn it on, or turn it off, and turn the lamp back on, it remembers where I set it. Very nice. I can also drop the power down of the lamp by pressing and holding down, and it blinks a couple times to let you know it's at low power. Press it again and it powers back up to full power. Pretty slick. So click, click, and now I'm at almost max power with the main lamp. I press and hold. Woo -hoo -hoo! As you can see, that thing is torching. 350 lumens of blinding power. I drop the power back down, and there we go, just a little bit more reasonable. So this headlamp is incredibly powerful. Uh, the Revolt has roughly the same lumen power, but only with alkaline or lithium batteries. The rechargeables only get up to 170, 175 lumens. So that's a factor. This lamp also has the red night vision. Press hold, two seconds release. Voila! Now you have a red LED for night vision, which is really nice so you don't blind people. It's also great in caves and all that. And you turn it off, you turn it back on, press hold, release. No, let's try it again. Yeah, so you have to have shut it off, so it's a little bit finicky. One, two, boom, there we go. We'll power that lamp down. Cool. So that's pretty nice. So getting in out of all the different LEDs and multi-mode, you have to fiddle around a bit and you have to learn it. The instruction manual, <laughs> yeah, there's the instruction manual. As you can see, it's pretty crazy. Uh, I just keep pressing buttons till something happens. I never remember in the field. Also, this does have a lock feature. If you press and hold, one, two, three, four, the headlamp now locks and theoretically it won't turn on in your backpack when you momentarily press the button, the security lamp blinks. But what I do is I always take out one of the batteries in the field, keep us all in a Ziploc, plus my spare batteries, so I never have an accidental turn on, simply because I've had, <laughs> had it where I've gotten to camp and my headlamp is barely alive, my mistake. So that's the thing about headlamps is it's tempting to try and use the lock feature. It is nice, but I prefer just leaving the battery out and I never ever have a problem with my headlamp turning on, having it conk out or anything else. Now, 
Is this black diamond storm headlamp a touch heavy? Sure, but show me a four battery headlamp that can like go through Yellowstone at minus 40 for 10 days and maybe only have one battery change, maybe two, and, and totally work. And if you splash it in water and dunk it, it's no big deal. So I've used my previous version and this headlamp in the most extreme locations on Earth. Think Greenland above the Arctic Circle. It rocks. So we're using the Black Diamond Storm headlamp. This thing is insanely bright, much brighter than the Revolt headlamp. I will power the beam all the way down and it still goes to a very nice low beam. Now you'll see these scan lines that isn't on the beam. That's just the camera interacting with the LED flickering. Now one of the things I failed to mention was if you double tap the side, you can instantly turn the power all the way to max. It's a really slick feature. So I'm going to turn the head, let me turn on the lights. Oh, okay, I'm going to power the lamp down. Okay, I'm not going to blind myself. And you just tap, double tap this. There we go. Touch and tap, and you can get max power to the previous power setting. So that's a really neat feature of being able to touch and crank this up without having to fiddle around with a button. So now we're going to go full power. Nice. And now we're going to switch over to the main wide beam lamp. And then we're going to power that lamp all the way down. So to me, it looks really good. Power it all the way back up. Power it down. We're going to do the touch thing. And all of a sudden you get blowtorch. Touch it and back down. Pretty slick. Now I'm going to turn on the infrared. Now it doesn't look like any light, but when it's totally dark, the infrared works great. So I can't recommend that enough. And this infrared actually has the ability to power up and down as well. All right, turn it down. There you go. Now I'm going to turn it off, press and hold for two seconds, and then back in business. So. The Black Diamond Storm headlamp with that power down and then touch for full power is a very slick feature. If you want a hardcore headlamp, it's really hard to beat the Black Diamond Storm. Check it out. I'll put a link below to it for your convenience. Check it out on Amazon. Uh, I can't recommend it enough. That's definitely a powerhouse of a headlamp. My name is Aaron Linsdow. I'm a polar explorer and professional traveler. Please like and comment on my video. Also, again, hit subscribe to the channel. That helps me bring this information to you easily and freely. Also, please support me on Venmo, PayPal, and Patreon. Thank you very much for watching.